Okay, so here we are. We are back with some more MX versus ATV Supercross Encore, and it feels like it's been a really long time since we said that, since we played this game, since we did anything. I think the last time we did a Supercross Encore video was before, just a little before All Out release, or a little bit after All Out release. I don't really remember, but I think that was with the 650 quad and the 650 bike, so yeah, it's been, it's been minimum months, and it has been a long time since I played. Now, this video, it's gonna be a really long video. It's like 23 minutes, I think. It's four five lap multiplayer races, but these were for sure the first two. The first two were really, really, really good. And the second two, I don't really remember. Uh, it's been a while. I actually had these, this is old footage, okay? It's not like it's not like we can still play like this. I feel like I actually got pretty good at Encore. I know there was guys that were a lot better than me, but I feel like I was above average. I actually, usually I consider myself an average player for everything, but I feel like we got Pretty good at Encore because we played like, I mean between Supercross and Supercross Encore, I think just in videos we had close to 200 parts in videos, not counting live streams and just playing, because I remember when the replica tracks came out, uh, Matt and myself and a few other guys were just grinding out uh, the new tracks every week, trying to get better lap times and stuff like that, and we, and we, we streamed it a lot too, so I remember playing this game probably as much or more than any motocross game I've ever played. I used to say Reflex I had the most time in, and not based off my PC time. My PC time, I think, is like a little over 100 hours or something like that. I don't have a ton in PC, but on console, when it came out on the 360, I bet I had over 1,000 hours in that game, but probably over more than that in Supercross Encore. Just played it for so long between both, uh, what was it, Supercross and Supercross Encore, so... Yeah, I feel like we got pretty decent. Now, funny thing is, there's two things I want to say. Uh, I mean, we'll talk about the race a little bit, but I, I don't want to ruin it. It's always weird doing, a, I, I guess, a post-commentary, because this is a post-commentary. This is really old footage, like super old footage from, I don't know, maybe probably at least a year ago, maybe longer. So uh, I do remember the races, I, and I feel like when I do post-commentaries over the races, you know, it's like you kind of give it away and I don't want to give anything away especially the next race the next race is just insane you have no idea what's gonna happen until the until the finish and it was probably the best race and there's a few things we need to talk about with that one too to set it up but yeah this first race was probably my favorite because uh, I'm trying to remember I think one of these laps we actually turned at the time it was my fastest lap on this track I was like I was trying to get under a 104. I know a 104 was like a pretty solid lap, but I was trying to get under a, uh, under a 104, and we got really, really close, but uh, weren't able to get it. So that's kind of, I mean, it was really good battling. I mean, the, me and this guy were like going head to head for for pretty much the entire race. So it was a really good race too, but uh, mostly because I think this was at the time the, the fastest lap I had at Anaheim too. So yeah, that was kind of the, I guess the highlight of uh, this race, but two things I wanted to say. Well, one, I've had a few people on the channel, not a lot, but I've had a few people on and off for the last few weeks asking, hey, is, is Supercross on, where's Supercross Encore? Is that coming back? And All Out is out, so that's the game from MX versus ATV that I feel like I wanna focus on most, but uh, since you guys were asking, here it is. I also pulled a question from, I made a community, like, a couple years ago, two years ago at the minimum, I made a community on PlayStation for, it wasn't necessarily for Supercross Encore, but that was the game we were, I guess that was the game we were playing most at the time, so yeah, we made a community on PlayStation like two years ago, and it's, it's, I haven't really checked it that much, there's not a ton of activity that goes on there because I kind of neglect it, I mean, I play mostly on PC now, I mean, I played a lot more on console when this game came out, but uh, just kind of just kind of neglected it to some degree, but it grew to like 800 people. It's like 800 people, which is insane. So yeah, there's that. And I try to talk to people in there in that community as much as I can when I log into the PlayStation, but you know, sometimes I'm just busy and just trying to record and, and get a video done and, and whatnot. But I did pull a question and a few people responded, not that many, but a couple. And they said that uh, well, they said one they joined the community for the Supercross Encore and yeah They still would like to see it on the channel. So I don't know there's I just Decided that you know what I had this old footage. I was going through a hard drive trying to Basically clean out 
any footage that I had that I hadn't used and so I came across this is actually this was supposed to be two videos but I decided just to throw it together into one long one so that if you're like hardcore I need Supercross Encore well here's a really 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 long episode for for it with a bunch of really awesome multiplayer races so and I and this is the other thing I wanted to say I did actually get into the game a couple days ago I think it was after I saw that comment I posted the poll the question if they wanted to see if people wanted to see Supercross Encore on the community on PlayStation some people said yes so I decided you know what let's start the game up I haven't played this game in like a year or months I mean it's probably been close to a year and I decided to to start it up and try it out and I think I went to Anaheim 1, A1, I'm pretty sure it was A1, and whoa, it was so insane, I mean, I've been playing so much All Out and Supercross the game, and even some MXGP Pro, a little bit less of that, Ugh, and just going back from those games, insane, it, it was, this game was, to be honest with you, this game was probably the hardest one for me to jump back into, I mean, after a long break like that, of course it's going to be hard, but it, if I were to be playing this game, it would probably be the hardest game for me to be playing and trying to go fast again. I mean, I left it in manual, I was trying to do manual, and I'm watching this video back and it's like, oh, you know, it really doesn't look that bad, it looks pretty easy. Bro, it's, it's not. I forgot how hard this game was, and it kind of became like a second nature because we played it so much and it wasn't, it was still hard. It was easy to make, you know, little mistakes to ruin a lap time and stuff, but, you know, I, we got to the point where it really wasn't that bad. And going back to it now, it's like impossible. I, I literally cannot even play the game. I try to throw a whip and it's just like we crash. It's it's so hard. So even if a bunch of people wanted to see this on the channel, it would be a while because I'd feel like I needed to get back into the game a bit before before trying to, to make a comeback, I guess. Or we try to make a comeback and just call the series like relearning Supercross Encore. I don't really know. But right now, I don't plan on doing a series with it. Uh, I, we kind of ended it before All Out, and I mean, maybe occasionally we can come back with some videos like this, but this is it. This is all the footage I have on my computer. Everything after this video, that's it. I, I went through my hard drive. I had a bunch of footage that I'm never even going to upload from other games, and well, probably not. And it just, I, I left it sit on there and kind of forgot about it and never, I don't know. I think I even have some MotoGP 15. I haven't deleted it yet, but... I don't know if we're gonna do that. At one point in time, when we started playing it, there was quite a bit of interest for it. But you know, now I, I don't. I really don't know, especially with MotoGP 18 being out, in which we do have that game. I think I mentioned that during yesterday's video. I'm not 100% sure when this is gonna get uploaded, but I think I mentioned that in the Ride 3 video, the Ride 2, the Road to Ride 3 video, that I actually have MotoGP 18, but I haven't even played it. Like I haven't even installed it. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what to do with that. I think I have some mud videos. Um, I think I have some really short old reflex videos, like really short. They're like four or five minutes long each. It's just really short little episodes. Uh, I think I have an unleashed video. I don't know. There's a bunch of a bunch of stuff. And then, like I said, I deleted a bunch of stuff too. I had a bunch of Trials Fusion uh, footage, which I pretty much just deleted that because it didn't look like really too many people cared to play or uh, watch that game, which is fine. It's just, you know, I want to play the things that you guys want to see. So, that's why we're testing the waters with this Supercross Encore video. But for a little bit here, let's talk about this race. This race was the best race. Uh, it wasn't necessarily my personal best performance, but it was as far as being exciting and, and really not knowing anything of what's going to go on. This was by far, like hands down, the best race of, the, of all four. And the first two races I said, I kind of remember. I don't really remember the, the next two races, which were supposed to be a, a separate video. We actually kind of get this line. Well, we kind of got it in and didn't really get it out. That is like the hardest line for me to get uh, at this track. Now, I know that, well, I'll kind of show you when you come back around because it's been a long time. But I still, I mean, I ran so many laps here that I remember the tracks. I remember what was considered a really big line here and, and what a difficult one was. And there is a really big line after the first turn uh the first turn corner where you can jump all the way out and I've never been able to get that I know Matt can get that for sure because he's the preloading king in this game uh, so shout out to you Cubs fan and uh, right here so when you come around this corner you triple in and then you can like five out I think 
four, five. Yeah, you can actually five out. I can't do it. I know there's some guys, there's a handful of guys that can. I, I just can't do it. So that's one of the bigger lines I can't do. I think there's some guys that can jump this entire section from the triple. Uh, I don't think I can do that either. I can quad or five it, but I don't think I can jump all six. And getting through the whoops is kind of tough. And then coming up here, I think I already talked about it. This uh, step on, step off, step on, step off section is the hardest one. And the only way I can really do it is to first gear clutch boost and then just get a really good preload. Sometimes throw like a tiny little whip glitch in there. So yeah, that was the the toughest one. But as you can see, our lead is diminishing, man. It's going away really, really fast. And the thing about this is the guy behind me, I believe is Hani. So if you're familiar with this game, you might know who he is. If you're on PS4, he's got a bunch of leaderboards. He's a national monster and a monster in Supercross too. But what he was doing, I think what he was doing, like I'm 100% sure this is what he was doing. He, was, he sat on the starting line. I think he gave us like a five, 10 second head start, quite a bit, quite a bit in this game. And then would try to go through the pack to give himself a challenge because if he, if he would have started with us, obviously he would have won. I mean, the guy has insane amount of hours, is really good. Some, one of the best players I know in this game. So I think what he was doing was sitting on the starting line and then seeing if he could catch us. So uh, I'm pretty sure he's in second place now. So we're on the final lap here and he was making up time like crazy. And I, but I think I have a really good lap here. I think I have a really good lap. Oh no, I kind of messed this up, I guess. Which I think kind of messed him up in turn and then we tried to quad out. But I do think I get this line. Now I don't, I think this is the only time I actually got it during the race, the time that it mattered. If we wouldn't have gotten this, he would have passed us right here for sure. But we were able to get through it. Not the best, I shouldn't have preloaded there in the middle, but uh, we did get it. You could just see his rear wheel or front wheel there uh, kind of glitching behind us. He's closer than the time looks. I actually look back, I don't look back. It looks like I have plenty of time, you know, but right there, boom. Oh my gosh, we pulled out the win there. It was so close. It was so close. I couldn't believe that um, because the, the lead timer showed that we had like a second, but he was much closer than that. And it looked like he tried going for that inside. That race was insane. That was like one of the closest races, closest finishes I've ever had to a to a multiplayer race. Now we're kind of jumping into what should have been the second video. I know we're back at A2, but again, remember this was supposed to actually be two videos, so yeah, that's kind of why why we're jumping back into this. So again, I really don't remember this race. I, I think one of the videos or one of the races that I was going to put on these videos wasn't really that entertaining. There, there wasn't like there wasn't a lot of battling. I know those first two races were probably the best out of the four, but uh you know, not every single race can be in an insane battle and, and close race. So I think, if I'm remembering right, because I didn't pre-watch this back or anything, I think this is the race where I turn my best lap time, but the host disconnects. Like, he dis he, he kind of, he didn't leave in the middle of the race. I know a lot of times people would leave in the middle of the race, and then you're just kind of, you know, whatever. It's just the way it is. But uh, here he let the race finish, but since he didn't let it completely finish... Um, it didn't record the lap time, so the fastest lap I turned here never got recorded to the leaderboards, and I was so upset about that because I, I'm pretty sure I actually got under a 104, which I'd never done before or since, so yeah, pretty much my, my fastest lap time never got recorded, and, and like I said, when these replicas came out, I was grinding for, for uh, good lap times like crazy, and um, just... just some of these were the best I could get. Some of the tracks I never really got a good lap time on. I think some of them at the time we got into the top 50. I think there was a couple tracks where we turned a, a top 50 lap time, which I'm really proud of. I mean, that's not easy. There's a, there was a lot of guys doing this. There was a lot of guys. And I keep, I've keep i mentioned it before that a majority of the friends that I have on PlayStation are so much better than me. So basically, if you were to take pretty much my entire friends list and myself and put us into a multiplayer race in this game or pretty much any moto game for that uh matter of fact it, it would i would be the last place guy okay that's the guys that i'm friends with for the most part are all much much faster than me and i'm not like friends with all the fastest guys but a, a, quite a few of them there's quite a few guys that are, i would consider elite top tier players of this game and, and other games as well so yeah, I mean, it's hard to, uh, I guess, compete with them. You know, when we, I, I would look at lap times for the replica tracks here, and 
I'd noticed that, you know, a lot of the guys that I was friends with would have like top 10, top 15. A lot of them had the number one lap time at one point in time. Maybe it didn't last forever, but they had it at one point. And then I'm sitting here at like 78, 101, you know, out of, uh, I had the 100 fastest lap time out of the PlayStation leaderboards. It's like, wow, I'm really slow. Yeah, compared to those guys, I'm really slow, but I consider myself above average in the game. So uh, not anymore. I would consider myself at the bottom now because it's very hard to to get back into the game. I mean, I remember, you know, being able to, I, didn't, I never really whip that much in this game anyways. I mean, yeah, a little, maybe a little bit of whip glitching, but pretty much I never really whipped in the game. I just, not that I didn't like it, I just never really did. And uh, people would always kind of complain that I didn't throw enough whips, this, whips that, and I just never really cared to do it in this game. I cared more about going for really big lines and trying to get really fast lap times on the replica tracks. When the replica tracks came out, that was my life. I didn't, there was nothing else in the game that I played. It was strictly replicas, multiplayer, trying to get a really good lap time. And this game doesn't have, didn't have time attack if you're not familiar with that. So the easiest way to get a good lap time was either to create a private lobby and race with someone like uh, Cubs fan and I sometimes would do that. We would create a private lobby, put it on like 10 laps or something, and then run 10 laps together, just trying to get a really good lap. And you know, when that didn't happen, you basically just had to go into multiplayer, run races, and try and turn fast laps. And actually, for me, a lot of the fastest lap times I did was in multiplayer because I wasn't trying to turn the fastest lap. I was trying to win. I was in try hard mode. But I wasn't constantly looking over seeing that, hey, am I hitting my mark? Am I where I should be to get a good lap? You know what I mean? Like, the, the triple, the, the final Supercross triple you hit before the finish line, I knew if I was at a certain time at that triple, I was going to be turning a good lap as long as I didn't mess up the rest of the, the last little bit. You know what I mean? So you have marks on the track where you kind of pay attention to looking at the timer to see, hey, am I am I doing good here? Am I doing bad? But you can see we already turned it to 103.66. Best lap I've ever done here. Huge bummer that it didn't count. I, I'm 100% sure it didn't count because I checked and checked and checked thinking that it was going to update and it just never really did. So that's kind of unfortunate. And we're on the final lap here and got a big lead, throwing down a beat down on the competition. No, I'm just kidding. Seriously, we had a really good race. We got kind of lucky and I was kind of getting used to the A2 track here because I was trying really really hard to to beat my 10412 I think is what it was and I think it's what it's set at still because I never actually had the the 10366 uh recorded and here you can see we got disconnected from the host showing that the lap time was never recorded, which, again, is just a huge bummer, man. It's just a huge bummer. Like, can you please at least let the race finish before you decide to just quit? I just, I never really liked that about Encore in the multiplayer, how that works. So, yeah, now we're jumping into uh, San Diego, 2017 San Diego. I believe this is another race with Hani. Now, I don't think he sits on the gate this time. He just kind of, he just kind of goes right away, I think. Yeah, you could tell. He was going definitely right there. We still get a... Pretty good start though. Now this actually, in my opinion, this was probably one of the hardest uh, replica tracks in the game. If you're trying to hit some of the big lines, because here it was like a triple triple, I think. This section, I pretty much always went about it the same way. But here, I think this is kind of tough. You can quad in and then what would it be? Five out. So quad in and five out. That was really difficult for me to get consistently. And the part that was even worse was this rhythm section coming up here. This is a very tough rhythm section. I mean, if you're super good at the game and play a lot, maybe not. But this is a quad in. And then I think it's a quad in the middle. And then I think it's a triple out. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I ever get it during the race. Maybe I do. I might get it once during the race. But, yeah, that's really tough. And then you can throw, like, a double preload whip glitch here and... Uh, throw down a ginormous quad so you can trip it's usually like a triple and kind of a big roller but you can actually quad that section so pretty pretty insane lines and, and just an insanely difficult track to begin with I mean I can't think of a track that I would think is harder I mean Vegas Vegas can be hard but for the most part I, I don't really think Vegas is that bad even if you're going for the big lines I can hit big lines there more consistently than I can on this track this for me was it, was one of the toughest tracks. Now I know that the uh, people didn't like the San Diego 2017 replica for a lot of the games that 
have had it, I, or maybe just two games had it, I remember. And I don't think, I really don't think they did a bad job with it. I think overall having these tracks, because these tracks all released before, the week before the Supercross race. So you could go in and play them. They were going off the track map. And you know, if you're familiar with Supercross, you know that the way the track map looks and the way the track looks usually aren't the same. There's there's usually at least one section that looks way different or one section that just straight up isn't there. So, you know, for just going off the track map, I think they did an okay job. I don't really remember what they took out, but I know that, I mean, that section scaling looked different and this section was there. I mean, this section was very much there, but it looked different. I don't think it was a step up table. I think you just stepped onto the table, step on the next one, and then stepped off. And uh, this rhythm section scaling is, is is way too big, I think, too. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. I mean, we're kind of getting to the end here. We're getting blown away here, and I think Hani's taking it easy on us. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Oh yeah, we're getting it here. Here we go, boys. Quad, quad, triple. There it is. I can't believe we got it. Not clean, but nonetheless, we got it. So. Probably just gonna let this finish out. I don't really know what else to say. I guess I'll pull the question here if you're still watching. Do you want more Supercross Encore? Is that something that you're just, ah, I need Supercross Encore. It needs to come back. That's that's my main. I need it to be here and blah, 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 blah. Because if that's the case, I'm gonna have to play it a lot. And I've been really busy. It's hard for me to get things done. I haven't even gotten Moto Mastery. Like I haven't even looked into it yet. I've looked at a couple laps and I've, I, I think I have an idea of who's gonna be at the top, but yeah, I, busy man just really busy and haven't been able to get all the things done I need to get done so taking time to play this game and then try to make videos on it is not going to be easy unless you want it to be a series where it's like relearning Encore MX vs ATV Supercross Encore relearning to play Supercross Encore and then I just play and suck and get ridiculed in the comments for how bad I am and you know we just make it a series like that I, I really don't know it, it depends on you guys it's all up to you and you decide. Otherwise, here you go. I'm not going to say this is the final Supercross Encore part, but for right now, this will be the final Supercross Encore part. We might bring in Supercross Encore a little bit later, you know, here and there, just kind of sprinkle it, it, sprinkle it in with other things. But for the most part, it's not going to be like a main series on the channel. It'll just kind of be like a, a small thing maybe we come back to after a few months, three, four months, maybe if we have time and, and things are slow and it's a bit stale, we might be playing it. But Things shouldn't be stale pretty soon because we're getting Ride 3 in six weeks-ish, something like that, and we're getting Supercross The Game 2, February 8th. So I don't think things are gonna be that slow. Plus we have All Out, we got the DLC releasing with that game. So, I mean, things aren't slow enough that I feel like I need something to fill the time, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comments. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really means a lot, and until the next video, Take it easy.